what would you say to the governor or the legislature of any of the over 30 states who have amended their state constitution to legally define, and lawfully, I should say, define marriage as one man and one woman? The 10th Amendment reserves that power to the states. Mm -hmm. And in fact, you look to the supremacy clause itself, the Article 6, Section 2, which says that the Constitution shall be the supreme law of the land, what part of the Constitution? Well, the answer is all of it. That includes the amendments, because Article 5 says that an amendment is, for all intents and purposes, part of the Constitution. That means the Tenth Amendment is as much the supreme law of the land as any other part of the Constitution. Now, what in the Constitution delegates any power over marriage to the federal government? Nothing. What part of the Constitution prohibits the states from regulating marriage? Again, nothing. That being the case, the power over marriage is a power reserved to the states by the 10th Amendment, and that is the supreme law of the land. And I would say to these government officials at the state level that if you aren't going to stand for that, you're not only violating your state constitution, you're violating the 10th Amendment of the federal constitution as well.